As of February 1st, the province of BC gave the green light to sports tournaments for youth, but the Ministry of Education still has a pause on tournaments that are school-based. Well, that's not okay with some parents, and we spoke to Cassidy DeVere outside Okanagan Mission Secondary. Bonnie Henry allowed uh, sports tournaments for youth to continue, um, but the BC School Sports falls under the Ministry of Education. Um, so they're allowing community sports, but as of right now, school sports are not allowed to attend tournaments. So my junior boys team is not allowed to go to a tournament, uh, but if I registered them as a club team, I could take them to a tournament. Have you been given any reason why it would be okay for tournaments outside of the school system, but not within? Um, the last that I read was that they're not sure if it is safe, which is really confusing because Bonnie Henry's already said it's safe for um, community sports to be participating in tournaments. Um, when most community sports teams have players from multiple high schools, multiple middle schools, um, whereas our athletes are a lot of them in the same classrooms, we are practicing together, um, a lot of them are friends, they hang out together, so our groups are a lot more controlled and they're a lot smaller so it would make sense that it would be safer. So you've been agitating about it a bit, writing letters, uh, what have you done? Um, I wrote a letter that uh, many people have also forwarded to the Minister of Education. Um, there's a petition out right now um, that uh, last time I checked, there's over 12,000 signatures on it already that um, someone started in Vancouver. So there's a lot of people really frustrated and a lot of people really upset. Um, we have uh, Valley tournaments next weekend for the junior girls and junior boys, and we don't know if those can be held. Um, provincials are in a few weeks, and again, we have no idea if those tournaments can be held either. Any response from your correspondents? Um, not yet. So the BC School Sports and the Ministry of Education are meeting today, so uh, hopefully that they've heard enough from uh, you know people around the province that uh, we think that both community sports and high school sports should continue. Do you get the sense that the ministry is listening? I'm not sure and I think part of the frustration is is if they're concerned about you know supervision and all that those decisions should be left with athletic directors and principals if there's not enough supervision to send a team to a tournament let's make that decision here locally let's let the principal make that decision instead of one person making the decision for all the schools across the province. So is it something that most parents would agree with or some of them you know taking a more cautious approach? Um, uh, every parent I've talked to has been very supportive of it they know that their children are missing out on opportunities and you know high school is a very special time you never experience it again um, and they're missing out on these things most adults I talk to still talk about oh remember that time I got fouled out at provincials or remember that tournament we went to and they're lifelong memories that these kids aren't getting. Right. So do you have any sense I mean, these tournaments require the participation of staff and school staff and teachers. Do you, do you get any sense, like at the school level, whether there's support for what you're trying to resume? I, well, that's kind of confusing too, because most of the time it's the it's the head coach that's running the tournament. Um, the athletic director will check in on them. The principal might check in and oversee it. Um, but it's not all tournaments have a significant amount of school staff monitoring them. Most of the time, it's parent volunteers and it's the coaches of the host school that do most of the work. Right. And, but teachers, I guess they, uh, they're also organized. Does the BC Teachers Federation want to see these things resume? What's your sense there? Um, I'm not sure exactly where, where the teachers sit on this. Um, basketball has shifted over the years to more community coaches than teacher coaches. Um, and so I'm not sure um, exactly what the teachers want and it puts a lot of teachers that are coaches in a very difficult position um, you know to advocate for something um, when also their job is on the line. Right so you got other parents and you're writing your letters and I, and I guess there's a key meeting today and you hope for the best. I hope for the best yeah hopefully uh, when they meet today they understand that uh, they can't just allow some kids to play and not all kids to play um, especially with basketball it's full of economic and social diversity within students within players and far more than other sports that are being allowed to play. All right, Cassidy Deber, thank you very much and go Huskies. Yes <laughs> go Huskies. <laughs>